All right, my dear Cancerians, this is for the sign Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, it could pertain to your past, your present, your potential, near future, not only talking about you, but people and situations going on around you. I'm cutting the deck on Stop Seeking Revenge. <laughs> It says, spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain to your emotions. Uh, I've said this a lot, though. Like, we, as empaths, will pick up. You know, if you're interested in tarot, all things metaphysical or paranormal, chances are you have some sort of spiritual gift or ability yourself, or you're an empath. And we will pick up on people's fuckery, okay? Sometimes we'll attract not great people towards us too seemingly broken people or someone who needs who has a lot of uh, mommy or daddy issues right so um that being said there's a sense to need uh cleanse your space and release yourself from what's not yours and what's no longer serving you if you're in the grocery store and you're in a good mood you're going to buy some cakes some pot pie whatever and then all of a sudden you're in the freezer ice cream dairy section and you get angry or you get super sad or super low or super scared and there's nothing, no reason going on around you for those emotions to come up to you. That's not yours, okay? Find your joy again, Cancers. Cancerians. Find your joy again. It's time to laugh again, to have fun, to play. The struggle is real and we paid the price. You've been struggling long enough with this stuff, okay? Look at that. Stop Seeking Revenge came out again. Look, I'm just the messenger, okay? This is the first... Most of the decks I've started with with the other Zodiac reads were um, my Oracle Tarot ones over here. So, so okay. You could be coming for healing from a connection in your life. It doesn't have to be romance necessarily. Could have been family, friends, okay? It's not about who's right or wrong. There's a need to stop seeking revenge. Maybe you feel like they're seeking revenge towards you, okay? Remember to switch the energies where you feel they need to. Uh, not only talks about you, but people's situations going on around you, right? The struggle was real and we paid the price. So, it was a struggle on both parts, I feel rest and heal from me because it's over should have listened to what your friends and family had to say about me so it's like maybe everyone around you saw what was going on maybe this is a friend you're dealing with too like you see something you know a manipulative or narcissistic behavior in your friends i just heard fiance your friend's fiance so controlling tendencies jealousy you know so um I don't know maybe there's a situation where you know you're trying to tell this person hey um, something doesn't feel right but they don't they might not listen to you or maybe they, they might feel obligated to spend time with their family instead of you because they don't might not see it or they might see it and they're just in denial about it or they're afraid to remove themselves from the situation there could be kids involved too, because we do have spend time with family. Please forgive me. So this person on about, you know, the one, please stop breaking, seeking revenge or wishing ill will. I don't know what you got going on in that noggin of yours, Cancer, but OJ, OJ Simpson, <laughs> Orange Juice, um, Orenthal James, I think was his name. So the name James could be a significance to you. Past life, we've known each other before. So this situation, this toxic situation was a car what we call a karmic relationship okay a huge breakthrough is at hand for you in this healing situation or healing within yourself so keep going i just keep feeling look and the love your true love the one is on their way they're on their way cancer i promise you there's someone out there for everybody i'm going to take action soon exactly because they're fixing to pack their bags to travel to you and they miss you. I think you're their twin flame. Oh, very soon. Very soon they're on their way. I love this for you, my Cancerians. And another huge breakthroughs at hand. Again, what's under here? OJ, again. Oh, I didn't shuffle the deck. <laughs> Don't give up on me. Don't give up on them because that true love, they are out there, okay? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So let's get back over here.
All right. Also, if you feel the need, share the video with somebody. If you notice we're talking about someone who's connected to you, okay? <sighs> For cancers. The thinking woman. Oh, my goodness. What's this card? The garden gate. Thinking about packing their bags, making their way to you, okay? They want to make their way towards you because you're there. Okay, it's gender neutral, all right? If you're the man waiting on the woman, that's fine. If you're the woman waiting on the man, switch the energies. The man's on their way to you. The woman's on their way to you, right? This is after some sort of period of healing your solar plexus and the hostilities within you around a pre previous situation. And look, journeying, journeying away. Look, she's got her bags packed. What did I say? They're moving away from deceit and envy, okay? You're getting balanced. I was talking about picking up on other people's fears. This first chakra, Archangel Michael coming through for you. That is the base of our fear. That's where it stems from, okay? But you're opening a door to personal healing and happiness. And in doing so, this is causing for you to have a caring connection comes towards you or reignite a caring connection if you're already in union with this with your person but also um making bank i just heard like balancing your masculine energy but also a journey towards a man holding coin somebody who's going to be generous to you or help you or donate um and maybe you are i've got three four four three here as well and 22 and here's another four yeah, balancing the feminine and masculine within you, there's a new contract coming in, but there's a contract you are away, walking away from too. It's no longer, it's a soul contract that you had, that karmic relationship. So the need to have patience, have patience, okay? Because there is victory in this situation. But also, um, even if you're feminine, you're like embarking upon a new journey, embarking solo, um, a new career, job, life purpose, stepping into your life purpose. <gasps> Look, yin. And that is the other half of the yin yang symbol. So it's a feminine. We've got balancing feminine, okay? I say this in every read. If you are a masculine watching this right now, I I'm sorry. You might be macho macho and you might not want to believe it. But we all have feminine and masculine energy within us okay we have the past life thing and maybe you were you're a male in this life and you were a female in a past life i don't know but what else for this yin energy soulmates it's a feminine energy coming towards you soulmates can be um soulmates don't have to be a romantic situation either you can have a, your your best friends are your soulmates your family members are your soulmates your true love is coming towards you though man this reading is phenomenal my cancerians yeah you're gonna be waking up to new life look at that happy 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 happiness in the cards for you i don't even know what else to do here i mean dang you're going through a regeneration a rebirth yeah, you're mending something within you, mending a rift, mending ties within you, mending a, a family situation, a karmic situation, healing from that karmic situation. That situation you knew you had to walk away from, right? That higher power was calling you to move away from it. To breathe and come to the edge. Because knowing that spirit, if you jump off that ledge, not... Not literally, okay? Please don't go jump off the ledge. That's not what we're saying, but they will catch you, okay? Time to clean it up through chaos and conflict. Yeah, to be fair. So again, with the energetics thing and uh, releasing, focusing on the here and now instead of worrying about shoulda, coulda, woulda or fearing the future, you have good things coming towards you. All is well. And look, there's the yang energy with happy, happy. Oh my God, I said happy, happy while ago, didn't I? You're starting some new building blocks, some solid foundations calling back the pieces of yourself that you lost maybe to other situations or people, okay? Have memories of love with this person. Have compassion. Open your heart. It'll be safe for you to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love, 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 love. We're only nine minutes in, 9.59 on the timer as I look over. Hold one moment. <laughs> I need some water. 
I love the number synchronicities and the time here. That said 10.07 and it's 7.07 .07 p.m. Uh, spirit has luck on your side. If you believe, you will receive, Cancers. All right, see, look at this. This card landed over here. Deception, deceit. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. If they were, maybe that's why you keep seeking revenge is because you know they lied to you. They lied to you about what they were doing, who they were with, who they were. But now you're getting over all of that and you're calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you closer together. They're on their way. Look at him or her. They've got their bags packed, I told you. Before that card even came out, I said, look, this is going to be the one. This is going to be the one you're going to marry. You might have even said, I ain't never getting married, but guess what? Look, engagement flipped over too. Um, for those in union, okay, yeah, this is a new love after you've loved yourself. But those in union, if you're not already married or engaged, your love life will be ascending to a higher level of commitment. Very soon, they say. It's happening very soon. They need to let go of control issues. Maybe let your friends help you. But that new love, he or she, they're making their way towards you. Make the effort. Don't be afraid to make the effort. Put forth the effort. Be here in the now, in the here and now. What's in the past needs to stay in the past, okay? We can't change it. We can't change it. So let's feel those emotions. Yeah, it pissed me off. Yeah, it made me insecure. Yeah, it made me angry. It made me feel neglected, abandoned, ashamed, whatever. And as soon as you acknowledge that, it'll probably release from you, okay? Something hidden from you, not necessarily bad or wrong. So that contract had a lady holding the skills of justice and she had a blindfold on. So there's something playing out for you, Cancers, that you cannot see. It's playing out in your favor. You had me at hello. So this is going to be like love at first sight situation. When you guys lock eyes, it's going to be like, hello. <laughs> Healing, heal the situation. An apology may be coming through for you. Repetition. So something, yeah, something you should have, could have, would I should have said this. I should have done that. I should have let him know this. You know, it's okay though. Karmic balance, karmic completion. It's okay to do nothing and be lazy. Maybe you have been. Pick up a book or magazine. Something to buy the time. Something different. Eat more fruits and veggies. Heal your root chakra. We said that earlier, didn't we? What are these cards? You're never alone. Your crown chakra is expanding. Say please and thank you. Get some fresh air. Your crown chakra is opening and God is with you. God is with you at this time, Cancer. Do you have anything else? I keep looking at this deck, so I guess I'll cut it. Look, self-mastery in something. Spider energy is coming out. Self-mastery in divine feminine. Do your divine feminines, okay, yeah. Rejuvenation, planting new seeds, sowing new life. Maybe some of you guys are actually like expecting a baby. Congratulations. Look, angels and spirit guides are guiding you now in the upper world. Anything else? Well, this was a really great read, guys. Celebration, reason to dance, unconditional love. Sacred healing is going on within you now, okay? If this resonated, if it made sense to you, hit the like and subscribe button for me. It's greatly appreciated. But also, um, my other social media platforms are down below. And if you would like a more in-depth personal read, um, my contact information is below as well. So remember, you're never alone and God is with you. This too shall pass and that, that it's going to get better from here on out. Love and light.